the girl who worked late at night, riding alone in an elevator, just as the elevator doors opened, a man in black rushed in with a petrol can, started pouring gasoline on the girl like crazy, the girl who reacted, I pushed him out with all my might, and quickly closed the elevator doors, but the elevator door was opened again by the man, he raised his hand and lit a match, good thing the girl has eyes and hands, picked up the bag and grabbed it, take advantage of the men avoiding, closed the elevator door again, and quickly pressed the buttons on the other floors, when the elevator doors opened again, the girl rushed out of the elevator, he eventually got help from passers-by, after receiving the report, Marge and Nissen rushed to the hospital, through Black Sister that, she has been followed by this stalker, for a year, but she never expected it, it's a threat to her safety, and coincidentally, the house she lives in now, it's the same room Kate used to live in, by their fitness instructor, Kurt introduced the sublease, Nissen immediately went to the gym, Kurt readily admitted, both of these men were his trainees, but he also provides, track your own activities, he doesn't have the time of day, Nissen got nothing, meet Maggie at Black's house, a crack in the roof, and caught Nissen's eye, he opened the ceiling, it turned out to be a mezzanine, left over from above, some objects can be seen, someone used to hide out here, and it's right over the bed, there was a tiny hole, you can see everything in the room clearly, through the fingerprint automatic identification system detection, prints on the residue, belongs to a middle-aged man named Larry, police quickly apprehended Larry at his home, and found it on his computer, 87 hours of candid footage, the content is chilling, I can't believe he took advantage of Kate's sleep, walk over for a closer look, even weirder, 